Today I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful sunglass pouch. So it should fit in there snugly. Put it in there and we pull it tight and there's our sunglass pouch. This is the materials you're going to need. Uh, some yarn. I'm using a 100% acrylic butter color and a crochet hook. This is a 9mm but if you have a 5 or 6 or any size will do as long as it's kind of a medium. This is a tapestry needle. You can use it or not use it. This is optional. I'll show you both ways how to finish it. Okay, so let's begin. So we're going to take our strand, start it, and uh, let's make a slip knot. Oh, I was going to say is give yourself a long tail because we're going to be finishing off our work from there. So about this much is good. So we'd start a slip knot by wrapping it around our fingers once, crossing it in the back, feeding it through like so, picking up a crochet hook, inserting it, and pulling it tight. And then kind of just, I just want to give it a little bit of space, but not too much. Now let's pick up our yarn, holding our tail, and let's chain up 22. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Now we're going to join it together. And the way to do that is lay your work flat down and make sure that all this is straight, that nothing is twisted because we don't want any twists. So now I know that it's straight or as straight as it can possibly be. I'm going to hold this end up and bring my needle to it and I'm going to join it together by inserting it into the first hook, picking up our yarn and hooking it and pulling it through. And now we have joined it. So now from here on, we're gonna be using a double crochet stitch and to do that, we're going to be chaining up two. And at this point, you should take a piece of thread and mark it because it's easier when you're working in circle. I'll just grab a piece of thread. Okay, so I got a piece of um, yarn that's different color. And I'm just going to put it right there where I chained. And now to do a double crochet, you hook it around once, insert it not in the first, but into the second chain right here. So we're going to insert our hook, hook it, pull it through once and you should have three on your hook. Hook it, pull it through two, hook it and pull it through two. So that's a double crochet. So let's do that again. Hook it, inserting it into our chain hooking it pulling it through you should have three on hooking pulling it through two hooking pulling it through two okay so one more time hooking finding our chain Hooking, pulling it through once, hooking, pulling it through twice, hooking, pulling it through twice. Okay. okay, let's carry on. Hooking it, finding our hole in the chain, inserting it, hooking it, pulling it through once, hooking it, pulling it through twice, so up two, hooking and pulling it through two. And hooking 
and inserting it. One and two and two. So we're just going to keep on going. Remember you did 22, so you should have 22 double crochet stitches. And uh, if it makes it easier for you, then count. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this on my own. And then when I'm done, I'll be back and I'll show you how to join it together. So if it's tight, that's all right. Okay, so I've come to the end of my row. Just finishing up my last stitch here. And um, we're going to be joining that together. Okay, so what do we do to join them together? We just insert into here where we have our marker. It's going to insert there, pull the yarn through both ends. And that joins it together. Okay, so we're going to remove our marker and we're going to be chaining up two again. One, two, putting our marker in place. And then moving on to the second row, always skipping the first stitch and chaining underneath the V. So we pick up our yarn underneath the V. Here we go. And pulling it through once, hooking it, pulling it through twice and twice. Hooking it under the V. Pulling it through, hooking, pulling it through two, hooking, pulling it through two. So now we're just going to carry all the way around. So I'm just going to go finish this on my own and I'll be back once I finish the row. I'm reaching the end of my row, so I'm just going to be finishing this row, and there's our slip stitch, so we're going to slip stitch to join, remove our marker out, and chain two. So we have finished one, two rows, so we need to make ten rows. So we have two already, so we need to do another eight rows. So I'm just going to put a marker in place and double crocheting and hooking on and through, hooking on, two and two. So we're going to be going all the way around for another eight rows. And um, I'll be back when I finish on my own and I'll show you how to finish it up. come to the end of my row here. So this is the end of my 10th row. So I'm going to slip stitch to join. And now I should measure because I have like 10 rows here. And I want to make sure that it fits. So I'm just going to pull this out a bit like so. Take my hook away and get my sunglasses. Here's my sunglasses. And kind of see how it goes inside. And then once we close it, it's going to be like this. Okay, so now, um, now I've tried this on and I'm happy with the length. And before I finish this, if you would like a little bit larger pouch, you can just go ahead and add another row or two. So let's finish this then. Take my glasses out, reinsert my hook, just right here. And I'm going to give myself, and you should give yourself like a good this much length. So let's just cut that because I'm going to show you how to finish it. Okay, so let's cut that. So now what we want to do is hook this, make sure it's tight here, pick this up and pull it through all the way. And this creates a knot and it's tight. So there you go. So now what we're going to do since we're on this end, we're going to take our crochet needle 
if you do not have a crochet needle, use your hands. The way to use your hands is just insert it like so and kind of work it with your fingers. So you go in like this and then out like that. So use your fingers or if you like you can use your crochet hook by inserting it behind, hooking it and pulling it through one hole at a time, inserting it and pulling it through. So you can do it like so. I'm just gonna pick up my needle since I have it and it's a lot faster when you do it with the needle but the other method just as well. This is just an extra. Don't need to have it. So we're going to be inserting just under our chain. So pulling it through just about halfway and I am doing it into the not into the chain part, which is the top, but just in that little space where you would, where the space is in a double crochet. And I think I've reached all the way around. I kind of even doubled it, which is fine. So if you saw that that was the beginning here, so I just went a little bit past my beginning. So I still have quite a bit of a tail and I do not want such a long tail. What I want to now is kind of create a little thing so I can pull this tight. So I'm just going to cut this off because it's too much. And remember how we did a slip knot? We're going to take our hook. We're going to do it exactly the same way. So you take your fingers, you know, wrap it around once. Actually, I'm going to try and do a smaller one. Wrap, I'm taking one finger and I'm wrapping it around twice. And I'm going to insert my hook from behind. Pulling this through like so and then just tightening it and you just have to kind of work it with your hands so it pulls tight. So what we have is kind of a slip knot at the end but give ourselves a little hook so we can hook and just make sure this is tight so just pull both ends tight. Like so. Now, so I'll make sure this is nice and tight. It's not going to go. Okay, there. I think we're good. I'm going to cut this part right there. Now, this part, because it's a little bit looser and I want it tighter, I'm just going to reinsert it and go through one more time. Okay, so I'm just going to use my crochet hook to help me. There we go. Okay, and this is how it should work. It should work the fact that when you put this in, you pull this like so, and look at that, it closes. So it's nice and closed. And then you just open it up to take your sunglasses out. Okay, so now we have to close off the back. because My sunglasses fell right through the back. So do you remember our back, how we left our tail? Okay, to do that, we're going to turn our work inside out. Like so. And we're just going to take this part and make sure that it's on the side, like so. And we're going to just sew this together with our needle. And if you do not have a needle, you can use your crochet hook to do so. And I'll show you how to do both ways. So I'm going to take my needle. And I'm just going to insert right under the chain. So you know how we crocheted and we went underneath this little chain stitch? I'm doing the same thing, but with this needle. Back and forth. as fast as possible and that is just to close it so this is how you do it with the needle if you do not have the needle use your crochet hook similar to the one I did it at the top 
and you just you insert your hook in there and you just pull it through so I'm gonna go all the way around once I'm gonna turn around and go the other way gonna go backwards now I don't have to be so strict because I already have my closure on the first round and one more and we should be home free except when you get a little caught like that that's good okay good and I'm just gonna make a knot. Do so, I'm just gonna reinsert into one of those holes, put my needle through the hoop, and make my stitch. Cut it, turn it back, right side up, and there is our hook. And there we have it all finished nice little summery pouch for your glasses and remember this is our nice little pull string and now it actually is going to work so you put this in and you pull it shut there you go